Well, this is the practice question to explain how to compute GDP from spending side. So let's look at this table. From this table, first it tells you the total income, right? So total income will equal to five thousand seven hundred and thirty-one dollars. So I don't need to look at all the other items here. I can immediately get the GDP because according to the circular flow diagram, GDP should equal to total income, right? So GDP will equal to total income equal to five thousand seven hundred thirty-one dollars, and. This question asks you to compute the consumption, investment, government purchase, and net exports. So let's solve for these questions one by one. First, let's look at consumption. So for consumption, as we talked about before, it includes goods consumption and service consumption, right? And for goods consumption, it also including two particip two components, right? Durable goods consumption and non-durable goods consumption. So let's just write it down. We have durable goods consumption, which will equal to one thousand one hundred eight dollars, right? And we also have the non-durable goods consumption. Which were equal to seven hundred and two dollars, and we also have service, right? And in this question, it tells you two type of service. One is non-educational service, non-education service, which were equal to two hundred and three dollars, and education service. So for education service is equal to three hundred and two dollars. So what you need to do is you just need to sum all those numbers. Then you can get the GDP, right? So you can get the consumption. So for this part, summed these four numbers here, you can get consumption. Okay. So adding those four numbers together, we can get the consumption will equal to two thousand. Three hundred and fifteen dollars. Okay, so this is consumption. Then let's look at the investment. So as we talked about before, investment including three components, right? Including business fixed investment, residential fixed investment, and inventory investment. So for business fixed investment, in this question, including two components. One is for the purchase of the capital equipments, and another one is purchase of the new structure. So these two parts can count it in business fixed investment. What about the residential fixed investment? So go back to this table. You can notice there is a household purchase of new housing. So housing will count it in residential fixed investment, and then the last one will be inventory investment. Okay, so you just need to adding those four numbers together, then you can get the investment here will equal to adding those numbers together, you can get investment will equal to one thousand four hundred and ninety one dollars. Okay, so this is from investment. And let's look at the government purchase. So we talk about government purchase, including three levels, right? So for government purchase, so for government purchase, including three levels, we have a local government purchase, we have state government purchase, and we have the federal government purchase. So from this table, you can notice the local government purchase will equal to two hundred and thirty-six dollars. State government purchase will equal to four hundred and nineteen dollars, and federal government purchase will equal to one thousand one hundred and eighty-two dollars. Pay attention. Transfer payments. Transfer payments here cannot counted in government purchase. Okay. So adding those four numbers together, then we can get the government purchase will equal to 
eight thousand. Oh, sorry, one thousand eight hundred and seven. Sorry, one thousand eight hundred thirty-seven dollars. So what you need to do is adding those three numbers together, you can get the government purchase. Okay. And finally, let's look at the net export. So net exports, as we talk about in spending side, net exports. Net exports will equal to export minus imports, right? <clears throat> Sorry. And from this question, for the exports, it will equal to $270. And then minus the imports equal to $129, which will give you the net exports will equal to $88. So these two parts, you can get the next exports, okay? So use this $217, subtract, okay? $129, you can get net exports. So based on those, we can get four components together. And then you can also verify if we add those four components, if we add those four components, it will give you the answers of GDP, okay? So you can notice if I add consumption, 2,315 plus investment equal to $1,491 plus government purchase equal to $1,837 and plus the net exports equal to $88. This will just give us the GDP equal to Five thousand seven hundred thirty-one, which is exactly equal to the total income mentions here. Okay, so the total income mentions here will exactly give you the GDP. Okay, so here we verify again that GDP will equal to this is equal to GDP and equal to total income.